The recent suicide attack in Pakistan's volatile Balochistan province claimed the lives of at least 53 people and left over 100 individuals injured. While no group has claimed immediate responsibility for the attack, the Tehreek-e Taliban Pakistan swiftly distanced itself from the tragedy. The attack has sent shockwaves across Pakistan, leaving the nation in mourning. Pertinently, the appalling incident marks the deadliest terror attack in Pakistan since 2018, when a suicide bombing in the same region resulted in 149 fatalities. Balochistan, Pakistan's largest province, has long been plagued by instability. Despite its strategic importance due to abundant natural resources, including oil, the region faces economic challenges and a history of insurgency dating back to 1948. The province's accession to Pakistan was marked by controversy with complex geopolitical dynamics at play. Baloch nationalist movements rooted in ethnic differences have led five wars of independence since 1948. These insurgencies have been met with a heavy-handed response from Pakistani forces, resulting in allegations of human rights abuses, including abductions, torture and extrajudicial executions. The conflict in Balochistan is exacerbated by economic disparities, with locals feeling marginalized and excluded from the benefits of their region's abundant resources. The construction of the China-backed Gwadar port, for instance, highlighted economic injustices as non-Baloch individuals were disproportionately employed for the project. While Pakistan points fingers at foreign actors, including Bharat and Iran, for fueling unrest in Balochistan, the region's complex blend of ethnic tensions Economic grievances and historical injustices remain at the core of the ongoing conflict. As Pakistan mourns the victims of the recent terror attack, it faces a stark reminder of the challenges that persist in Balochistan, underscoring the urgent need for a comprehensive and inclusive approach to address the region's complex issues.